In 10 exercises, students will learn the basics of game mechanics using block-based coding. The game design course starts off with very simple steps in order to gradually teach students how to build their own game. Watch as they get a taste for the endless possibilities that coding offers. Students can track their progress through the 10 lessons using this toolbar on the left-hand side. The left-hand side is also where step-by-step -step instructions are provided. One thing to note is that the instructions will display an end goal at the top, and below are where the step-by-step -step instructions are. Students must complete steps in the order of the program that provides, or else it will not progress them to the next step. Then, students can also click the check button to make sure that they have done the coding correctly. The middle portion of the program is where students actually build their code. Students must pay attention to directions where it will tell them specific where specific coding blocks are needed. For example, to add a steps block, they must first go into the movement folder and then drag a step block into their code. If students drag a block that they do not want, they can just drag it into the trash can. If students put a incorrect block into their code that won't fit into a function, you'll know it's incorrect because it's grayed out. If students want to test what their coding looks like, they can click run in the upper right hand corner of their coding platform. On the right hand side of the program, students will navigate between the elements of the game. The sprites tab are where the characters are housed. And one thing to note is that you have separate code for your different sprites. For example, I have a separate sequence of code for the monkey character in the program than I do for the star character in the program. Instructions will guide you between choosing between the features in the sprites, widgets, sounds, and game tabs. Just to note, the game tabs is where students can design the actual playing field of the game. If students have extra time at the end, this is where they can modify the difficulty and mastery of their game.